Dunedin's disease is a rare brain disease and basically the nerves in the nerve cells in the brain die away and that causes people to lose control of their ability to speak, to move, their thoughts, their feelings, their ability to walk, to talk and to swallow. And this will happen over time. Normally it affects people first between the ages of 30 and 50, but there is a small percentage of people who will be affected from childhood. And normally people would live with, with the condition for between 5 and 20 years. And in that time they'll become um, increasingly dependent on care. And towards the end they're usually requiring 24 care, 24 hour care. They won't be able to, to move or to speak. Um, some people won't be able to swallow so they'll be reliant on, on tube feeding. So it's a very devastating disease and it gets worse over time. And one of the cruelest aspects of the disease is for every child born to a parent with HD, they have a 50% chance of inheriting a disease. And they would nearly swallow a couple of teeth, I think. My mother had Huntington's disease and her brothers and sisters also had Huntington's disease and I have uh, cousins as well that have passed away with it. The impact has been, it has been dramatic, it's been overwhelming from the sensation of knowing that, knowing that you have on it and knowing that there's no cure and just all the uncertainties of it. We were told Whenever Mickey was diagnosed, we'd have a cure in 10 years, and it's, it's definitely not 10 years now, we're, we're way past that, we're chatting nearly 20 years. So, um, so we've been thinking that there'll be something, there'll be something, and it seems to be all research has been done, and I think now you could start to get a bit scared that well, it's going to be run a bit too late for us. Joanna has a less than a 3% risk and Annie has less than 1% risk so um, we can, they can get tested, they cannot, we could have got them tested obviously whenever they were in the womb but um, we decided not to do that because of the risk so um, we probably will ask Annie and John be up to them right enough to make that decision to get tested whenever they turn 18 just to make sure that they'll not, not have it so we're hoping that they'll both be clear now of Huntington's. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's very scary to think they can have it, um, but uh, hope, I'm hoping if they do, if well, obviously if they don't, but obviously if they do have it, um, hopefully there'll be a bit more help out there. Like at the moment, I'm really struggling with it because. I find the movement and everything so uncomfortable and I just feel like I just like would like to go to someone that understands it, but there's no one there. You can't go to anyone. If it wasn't for me kids and the help, I would hate to think what road I would have gone down. It's terrifying because everything I'm doing, you know, I, I might twitch at night and it's, it's, it's that hunting. It's always there on the back of your head. Um, and then, because I have my young daughter to worry, is she going to be affected by it in the future? Um, so, at the moment, I haven't got tested, but I wouldn't like you know, rule it out for the future because sometimes I think it would take away the the what if, the not knowing. We live in um, Gorton outside Oma and we fall under the Western Trust. There is no specialist nurse in the West for HD. There is an, in an inequality. I don't understand any difference in me and somebody from Belfast, so why, why should there not be a, a HD nurse here as there is one in Belfast already? I think it's disgusting to be honest. I just think it's, um, 
it's just it's wrong. I mean, why should we be penalised? Why should we? I mean, why should there be one nurse? I mean, there's there's so many people suffering with Huntington's. Um, I mean, it's it's ridiculous that if you have a problem, you go to a doctor or you go to the the health the health uh, people, and they don't know nothing about Huntington's. Like, why is, why why don't they know enough about Huntington's? We should have more more help out there.